my typical day is complicated <laughs> um, because I do two things. My day is very long, um, often and involves very, very different parts of myself. So usually when I wake up, I do some sort of yoga practice. Um, because my work is so hard, I spend a lot of time taking care of myself over the course of the day. Uh, I always eat breakfast anytime that I haven't, has not gone well. Um, so I take some time to do that. Then I get on the train for an hour because it's New York. And then uh, I get to school. The school that I work in is a high school. School day can vary depending on what's happening. Um, kids will either already be in my office if something is going on, or they might come into my office at any given point if some crisis is arising. Uh, I also have some appointments that are set times. Um, so at Monday at 3 o'clock, I might have a particular student. My day generally runs from 8 to 4 there. And then after that, I will go to where I practice psychotherapy, which can last up to four hours. Um, and there I will... And I take the train in between that. Um, but there I will spend about an hour with each family that I'm working with. Um, and it's uh, just trying to listen and hear and see where I might be able to help uh, and talk through some of the challenges that they're having, um, which can be very, very emotional. So at that point, my day has lasted from 8 o'clock in the morning to 9 p.m. at night. Uh, I head home, normally get home around 10 o'clock, and I am tired. Uh, so I generally try to eat dinner and lunch somewhere in the chaos of things, um, sometimes while I'm talking to a student, uh, and I try not to eat dinner during my later sessions. And then I go to sleep when I get home. Sometimes it takes a bit of time to get to sleep, uh, but I generally try to be in bed by about 1030.